It's a quiet night. The stars are shining. Not a creature is stirring. But wait, what was that? Did you see it? Let's have another look. There is something moving high in the sky. It's a shooting star. Perhaps you have seen one with your own eyes before. It's an amazing experience because this brief flash of light is actually a messenger from the depths of space. Scientists call it a meteor. To understand what a meteor really is, we need to get up high. 100 kilometers above the ground is where space officially begins. Beneath us is the wispy outer layer of Earth's atmosphere. Above us is a frigid vacuum, inhabited by a few satellites. This is a very lonely place, but sooner or later, the Earth's gravity brings visitors from far away. Every meteor starts out as a meteoroid, a piece of rock falling toward our planet. Most meteoroids are very small, perhaps a few centimeters across. This one has been touring the solar system for millions of years, ever since it was kicked out of the asteroid belt between Mars and Jupiter. Its long journey is about to come to a fiery end. The rock plunges into Earth's atmosphere at a speed of 11 kilometers per second. It soon starts to glow and its surface melts. At this point, it has a chance of being spotted from the ground. The question is, why does a meteor glow? You might think that friction is responsible. It makes sense, the meteor is in contact with air molecules and the friction between them should heat it up. However, there is more going on up there, and other forces make friction insignificant by comparison. The most important force acting on our meteor is called ram pressure. It occurs because the meteor is falling so fast, the air beneath it has no time to get out of the way. Instead, it is squashed up against the base of the meteor. As time goes on, that air becomes more and more compressed. When a gas is compressed, it heats up. In this case, it gets hot enough to melt the crust of our meteor and light up the night sky. It has created a fireball. Soon, the atmosphere gets thicker and the meteor slows down. Most meteors are completely burned up after a few seconds and no trace of them ever reaches the ground. Some of them even explode in midair. This one is lucky. It is just big enough to survive the fireball phase of its journey. About 10 kilometers above the ground, it reaches its terminal velocity of 100 meters per second. It will remain at this speed for the rest of its flight. Ram pressure eases off, so it cools down. Its surface refreezes and it stops glowing. This phase is known as dark flight. Once again, the meteor is invisible to us. A meteor that makes it all the way to the ground becomes a meteorite. It's a rare and precious object from across the solar system. What happens to it next is a story for another video. Thank you for watching. See you next time.